first episode of Trainer Thursdays. Uh, today's topic, guys, is going to be protein absorption and protein utilization. Alright guys, so this topic on Trainer Thursdays is going to be over protein absorption and protein utilization. Utilization, sorry. Um, so there's this misconception or this notion around the fitness and health world that your body can only absorb tw- anything less than 30 grams of protein. And... That's completely bullshit. And, well, from what I found, that that doesn't necessarily happen to be the case. So, your small intestines are in charge of protein absorption. So, you can eat, you can consume as much protein as possible. And it all comes down to whether or not you're properly synthesizing that protein that you're absorbing in your small intestines. So this is around the notion that you can only take in 30 grams of protein per meal or your body only can take in a certain amount of protein for the day, which is a complete lie, guys. That's a notion that's been in the fitness world for, I want to say like maybe like two years or so, something like that. So... The organ that's in charge of absorbing and synthesizing protein is your small intestines. So I've heard, I personally, it's recommended that you go ahead and spread your meals out from anywhere from three to six, six meals a day. That's why you hear constantly hear bodybuilders for, and this is for maximum muscle utilization out of all the protein that you take in or you absorb throughout the day. And this is why you hear bodybuilders consuming anywhere from three to six meals per day because it's recommended that you evenly spread out your protein throughout the day. Uh, whatever your protein intake happens to be. Uh, right now at the, the moment, I want to say my protein intake should be around 220, 230 grams of protein per day. Uh, I've been consistently hitting it, so that's pretty good. But yeah. I just wanted to go ahead and touch subject on that, uh, touch a little bit on that subject because there's, I've constantly gotten asked, oh, how much protein should I be eating per day, per meal? Guys, you can have two, three meals, two, three large meals of upwards to 50 grams or well beyond that of protein per day and your body will still absorb it and synthesize it and utilize it properly. To give you, but if you guys are looking for maximum, like the most optimal way of synthesizing that protein, I would recommend you guys eat anywhere from three to six meals a day. Evenly spread out your the total amount of grams of protein that you should be eating, and it's just gonna go ahead and be synthesized by your small intestines, giving you the best results possible. So if you guys have any questions. Just shoot me a message, guys. Uh, Let's see who's on right now. Louie. What's up, Rocky? How you guys doing? What's up, Louie? You guys have any questions for me? Just train your Thursday. Today's topic is protein absorption, protein synthesis. Sorry guys, my cat. Do you guys have any questions for me? Louie? Rocky? No? Okay. All right, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to type it. I can see your comments. 
So another question that I got asked this week was how do I battle uh, delayed onset muscle soreness or better known as DOMS. And basically this is uh, the window of which your muscles are the most sore between, or they feel soreness between 24 to 72 hours. Uh, basically guys, uh, for if you guys have been following me for quite some time, I've been a fitness uh, influencer and personal trainer and online coach for quite some time now about seven years so what I've personally found that works best for me is just getting a good amount of blood flow into the into the muscles that are sore for instance like I absolutely hate being sore on the inside of my thighs after leg day um, some of the things that I'll go ahead and do to to combat that delayed onset muscle soreness so that soreness is you know actively stretching um you can go ahead and do um, light circuit training uh in the sense of like uh, you can jog in place run in place jump rope uh do a few squat pauses stuff like that um uh, burpees stuff like that to go ahead and get better oxygenated enriched blood to those muscles so that way you can better combat DOMS uh, <clears throat> or delayed muscle onset muscle soreness. Uh, some of the other things uh, that I've personally found that work best for that are um, uh, super, super like hot baths, uh, ice baths work really, really well too. I have heard from a bunch of friends that uh, cryotherapy works as well, but I personally haven't gone around to trying it myself. But <clears throat> that's just one of the, um, what do you call it? Um, so are some of the things that I personally have found that works best for, for combating or combating DOMS. Let's see, hey, what's up, Mikey? Let's see. What is a good cardio workout? Honestly, brother, that's uh, a good cardio workout. Uh, you can do circuit training. Swimming works really, really well, too. I found that being in a really cool pool will go ahead and um, give you... Uh, it'll, it'll help with muscle soreness and any aches and pains. Uh, aqua therapy is really, really good. I know I have a really bad shoulder, so... Um, when I was doing uh, aqua therapy, when I was going to college, that really, really helped uh, heal up this shoulder. Uh, what other? Um, if you're looking into competing, um, or even if you're just trying to get shred down for for summer, a really good um, cardio workout you can do is just do anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes on a stair climber. Throw in a really thick hoodie, take your pre-workout, um, and hop on there. Put it put it super, super high, like at an eight or a nine, and then do do like a thousand steps or climb like 200 floors. That'd be really, really good. Uh, that's usually what I like to do. But what is a protein supplement? Uh, are you asking like what's a good protein supplement? not too sure what you're asking there Charlie sorry guys my cat he's trying to eat my fish oh okay what's a protein supplement you recommend uh it all ends honestly man it just it's gonna depend on your goals um like if you're if I a really good isolate protein that I would probably recommend is Dimatize's uh ISO 100 if you're looking for uh, another one, another good one is gold standard uh, protein, uh, gold protein from Optimum Nutrition. Those are pretty good, well-rounded proteins. Uh, one's an isolate, the other one's gonna be a concentrate. So um, basically the difference is just the, the BCAs in it and the, the amino acids come extra. There's a little bit more in uh, concentrate than there is an isolate. Um, casein's really really works well it's a super slow digesting protein 
Uh, I haven't really come across a really good casein protein. Sorry, guys. Uh, I just ate. Um, but a good casein protein uh, is... Uh, man, I would probably say... You can do elite casein and then just take it at night. Take it at night. If you happen to wake up sore, you want to go ahead and build muscle or, or even uh, if you happen to come across a casein protein, casein protein that has um, glutamine in it, that'd be a good intake that right before bed. Uh, da, 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 da. Is Isoflex good? Uh, I personally haven't tried an all max product. Uh, Isoflex, I haven't tried it. My buddy, a really good buddy of mine, takes it. He says he likes it. Uh, the supplement store that I'm going to start, work, well, that I'm working at, we're going to start carrying Omax products and Isoflex. So uh, if, and I I, uh, I take his, his word very, very heavily. So if he, if he likes the protein, if he likes Isoflex, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and back him up just because, you know, I, I value his word a lot. So I would probably say Isoflex is a good protein as well. But um, yeah, uh, let's see. I don't know. Uh, let's see, I don't know if any other proteins come to mind um uh, oh good mass gainer you can do a uh, pro gainer from uh, optimum nutrition that's a good uh, that's a pretty good uh, mass gainer as well but yeah lo- those are probably the products that i recommend the most man um is rocky uh those are the those are the products those are the proteins that i recommend the most so it'd be uh iso 100 from diamatize elite casein from diamatize um, optimum gold standard uh, protein from from optimum nutrition pro gainer from optimum nutrition uh, isoflex is pretty good too so those are the proteins oh, all right man all right guys so that is all i just wanted to go and touch base on um, protein synthesis protein absorption protein utilization I uh, wanted to go ahead and answer one of the questions I had had earlier as far as um, how to battle delayed onset muscle soreness. Uh, I'm going to see if I can save this video and put it on my IGTV channel. So if you ever want to go back and view it, you guys can. So I'll go ahead and if you guys have any more questions for me for next week's trainer Thursday, shoot me a DM with a question really good really good questions so all right guys peace catch y'all later